Is that your leopard shoe? You like those, but they're too big for you. Uh, uh. Yeah, they're too big for your, <laughs> for your feet, Hannah. You gotta wait till you get a little older, then you can wear them, okay? What up guys? Hey, we are going to do a video shoot at Banners.com. I know the guys who own that company and uh, they want to do some product videos and stuff for their new website that they got coming out pretty soon. Uh, it's just kind of like tutorials on how to set up different things and stands and stuff that they sell. So I am on my way out there right now, but first I'm going to make a pit stop at Target because um, the tripod I have is a really old, uh, well it's not that old, but it's, it's pretty cheap and it's way too short. Like, you put the camera on and it comes up to maybe about your uh, like your chest height or something. I need something that's like, another good footer so higher. So, I'm going to stop by Target see if they've got something and then uh, we're going to go on out to the, well we're not actually doing the video shoot today, we're just getting set up because uh, the guy who was supposed to be the model <laughs> for the, the video, um, he had a family emergency, so he's not going to be able to be there today. But we're still going to get the lights set up and the background set up and get everything ready to go so that when we're ready to do the shoot, I can just go there and just start filming. So uh, let's see if Target's got my tripod first. Though. All right, here we go. Let's see. This is the one I used before, the 66 inch uh, one right here. It's pretty tall. Uh, this one looks pretty slick too though, but it's a lot more expensive than this one's like twice the price. Mm. So right now cheaper is what I need, so uh, okay, we're just going to go with this one. What do you think I think? A little history about the town I'm going into that, that um, Banners.com's uh, office is at. Uh, it's in a town called Kentington, Minnesota, and uh, there's some historians who believe that this is actually, they call it the birthplace of America here at Kensington. The reason being is that they found a runestone here back in the like 1800s that uh, dated back to pre-Christopher Columbus. And it looks like uh, the writings and inscriptions and everything uh, that, were, that was found here uh, dates it, uh, makes that this would be where the Vikings uh, first came. They discovered America way before Christopher Columbus ever settled over here, or came over here in, in 19, uh, 1492, right? Uh, so, man, how's that for my American history brush up? <laughs> There's definitely lots of other um, artifacts and things found in this area that would support the notion that this is a... Um, uh, this is the birthplace of America. But anyway, uh, I'll try to find a link or a video or something about it and link it up for you uh, for you below uh, this video. I'm here at Banners.com and this is Steve Hegstrom. <laughs> He's one of the owners here. And this, look at this setup, guys. It's like crazy. It's a huge printer. You guys must put some really big stuff on that thing, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, up to 16 feet wide. Dang, that is pretty big. That's like bigger than my bedroom right there. So, uh, lots of cool stuff. This is the room we're going to shoot in right here. And uh, I'm going to go get my lights and bring it out here and we'll get started. We're setting up a awesome, backdrop for their videos. And... See, you guys doubted me. Uh, it's a pretty awful slick setup. What's really going on? Oh, Welcome Steve to the rescue. We got water <laughs> ink on the floor. <laughs> I think I'm going to oh, move out here before it falls on me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, and into the pile you go. Oh, did you hit the pile or did you miss it? You're going to have to check and see if you got any. Huh? Did you miss the pile? I think she missed the pile. She missed the pile or you missed the pile? I think she missed it. Oh, you like playing in the laundry? You gonna make it all dirty again? <laughs> okay, bye bye Hannah. Woo, where's Hannah? Oh, that was a miss. <laughs> where's Hannah? Oh no, the pile of laundry is moving. Where is she? Oh, who's this? What's this over here? Oh, there's a little... <gasps> what? <gasps> Looks like I just got something in the mail from, uh, from Zondervan today. And, uh... 
I just opened it up and look look what I got. I actually didn't even know they sent these kinds of things out to uh, authors, but here it is. Uh, Dear Tim, I'm close to the envelope or the covers for your new title, Life in Student Ministry. These may be used for promotional purposes or to give the family and friends. So here is the the cover for my book. And uh, yeah, I don't know how many of these I got. Got like a stack of these. Not quite sure um, what I do with these. Like, do you want a cover with like no pages in it? <laughs> it's just the cover. So that's that's cool, I guess, though. And by the way, the book you can pre-order it on Amazon.com right now, and it's 32% off. So if you think you're gonna get it and you only want to pay a little over half the price for it, uh, go to Amazon.com. Uh, Search for that cover or that search for that cover that title Life and Student Ministry um, by Tim Schmoyer <clears throat> and uh, I'll put a link in the description below here too so you can go straight to it. I've got a whole bunch of book covers here, so I'm gonna figure out something, some sort of way to give these away or do something with them. Um, what should I do with them? You guys got any ideas for me? What should I do with the with the book covers? Interesting. Oh, I uh, left my um, SD card reader at the place this morning, and um, uh, medium, right? I am looking for another one here at at uh, Walmart because uh, I was trying to import the video footage, you know, that, this, that we took this morning, and I was like, oh, I, I don't feel like driving all the way back out there to get my card. Plus, I need another one, and this one's kind of breaking anyway. Um, so I'm gonna pick up another one. If I can find them, you guys remember there? Apparently they do have them, I was just in the wrong section. They said they're over by the photo section somewhere. So... Um, not around here, let's try looking around here. Over here somewhere maybe? I don't know. Aha, I found them. Um, but... I don't see any card readers. I just see cards. Lots of SD cards, but what good is an SD card if you don't have a reader for it, you know? Ah, I was wrong. They do have one. Uh, what I need to get, so... Grocery shopping it is. Alright, jelly, check. Whole chicken, check. Uh, bagels, got bagels. Onions, check. And I still need to get stamps. At the register. Be right there. So, here we go. And the last stop is the Douglas County Library. Dan and I watched uh, 2012 last night and uh, gotta return it. I took a picture of my book cover and posted it on my Daily Booth page, which sent it to Facebook and Twitter. And uh, I asked people, what should I do with these book covers? And here's my favorite answer so far. Use them to wrap the hymnals slash Bibles at your church so it looks like everyone is reading your book. <laughs> That's awesome. Good one, Brian. It is 3.45, and at 4 o'clock to 15 minutes, there's a uh, YouTube is doing a live... Um, oops, reverse helps, huh? Is doing a, is doing a live stream of uh, for partners, YouTube partners, which I am one thanks to Kevin Nalty. If you guys don't know his channel, you should go check it out. Uh, his vlog channel is youtube.com slash Uncle Naltz, or you can check out his comedy fun prank channel at youtube.com slash Naltz. And um, so, yeah, he got, actually got me hooked up with the partner channel. Okay, again, higher CPMs. Uh, very, very interesting. I'm uh, editing the video now, um, or getting ready to anyway, while... Uh, uh, while I do the whole, um, yeah, watch the whole video here, stream. There's Steve. Hey, what do you got in your mouth? What is that? What? What? Oh, Hannah, were you eating a ladybug? <laughs> that is disgusting. You don't eat bugs, Hannah, love. At night. Yes, that's Daddy's book. Daddy looks really, really goofy in there, doesn't he? Yep. I don't know if we're gonna stick with this music or the logo or anything like that. I'm just playing around with it. But you know, like the music. So we're just gonna sit here and jam. While Steve tries to put it away. <laughs> oh no! 
It's almost over. Oh no. Check this out for multitasking. I am changing my little guy into a new outfit and I'm playing uh, Scrabble against my brother. Uh, he has an Android phone also. But look at my letter combination. What do you do with that? All vowels except for the V. And uh, we're all just doing these really short three two letter words because I guess he's got messed up letters too. But there's not, not many options there with, uh, with uh, that many vowels. I'd ask you for help, but by the time you see this, the game might be over anyway, so thanks anyway.